we go on our knees for the intro.
Let the congregation stand. We are on page five of the pamphlet. The Lord be with you. Let us praise and give thanks to God for his unending love and grace towards his people. Almighty and everlasting God, we approach your throne of grace with a heart full of thanksgiving for all the mercies we have received. We also realize that we have sinned against you through our actions and inactions. Therefore, we humbly kneel before you, Lord, confessing together on our knees and saying, Have mercy on us, O God, according to your abundant mercy. Blot out our transgressions, wash us thoroughly from our iniquity, and cleanse us from our sins. Are ever before us, against you, you only have we seen and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your world and blameless in your judgment. Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach us wisdom in the secret art. Purge us with Esau, and we shall be clean. Wash us and we shall be whiter than snow. Let us hear joy and gladness. Let bones that you are broken rejoice. Hide your face from our sins and blot out all our iniquity, creating us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Amen. May the Almighty, Lord Almighty, and the most merciful Father grant unto you pardon and remissions of all your sins, give repentance out, and enable you to amend your ways through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord's Prayer. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Please, if you are the owner of this vehicle, it's an accord, under accord, FST282GX. Please remove it from where it is, FST282GX.
The first and the special lesson of this occasion of 100 years birthday of the choir's grand matron, Elder Mrs. Taylor. This special lesson is taken from the books of Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your heart and minds through Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God shall be with you all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, honor, and adoration to the Almighty God for His mercy, grace, for preserving our lives to witness today. May His name be glorified forever in the name of Jesus. Permit me to recognize the right Reverend Ade Kunle Ilesomi Daudu, the Bishop of Lagos Central Diocese. Provost of this great cathedral, Venerable Dr. Olushegun Oladoshu, Venerable Akin Pelu, Venerable Ezekiah Janoku, Canon Dr. E. E. Okunawa, Canon Faith Olorun Dari, Reverend Ijalano, Reverend Duro Simi, Reverend Akonde, the woman of the moment. The matriarch of the Taylor family, our mama, a mother, a grandmother, great grandmother, and a centenarian, Elder Mrs. Modupeola Abiola Taylor. Let's stop for mama now. I recognize the grand patron, the patrons and matrons of Arch Cathedral Choir the organist and master of music and the choir of cathedral here, members of the Taylor family and great men and women of God. To the glory of God today, we are celebrating a great woman and a pillar of support in the cathedral, Mama Mudukweola Abiola Taylor at 100. Praise the Lord. She's the grand matron of the choir till date, member of Improvement Society and other societies in the church. A beautiful soul in and out. You two can testify to that. You can see Mama still looking very radiant, even at 100. Born into a Christian family with a strong musical background. She's a great pianist. Am I wrong? Mama first played piano at the age of 10. Also, at her 90th birthday, she was seen on the organ. I won't be surprised if there is a repeat performance today, if Mama plays today. Praise God. Hallelujah. A very strong and active member of this great cathedral. Mama. Congratulations. Uh, Oju Ale, eh, ni fi so kun. 
eh ni ri banu je gbogbo amo yin lo ma gbe yin yin loruko Jesu Oluwa wa pelu yin o pe la la fi ara ni oruko Jesu gbogbo wa na omo rere ma gbe yin wa a ni ku ni rewe rewe brethren in the lord on this note i welcome all of us to this special community in singing service to honor and celebrate 100 years birthday of Mama Mudukwe Ola Abiola Taylor, the centenarian. I do have my cap for you, Mama. Please sit back and enjoy the choir as they render melodious songs to honor Mama, the grand patron of Arch Cathedral Choir. Thank you. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The first hymn for this community in singing is from page 7 and 7a. Hymn, O God of Bethel. Tune, Ezra. The Lord our God be with our fathers. It's taken from the book of First Kings chapter 7 verse 57. These are the sum of the words from the scripture that inspired the writing of our next hymn. O God of Bethel, by whose hand by Philip Dodger in 1736. The first four verses of the version of in hymns ancient and modern were written by him while it's a fifth verse credited to J. Logan was written in 1781. He has been added to the version in several other hymn books. The lyrics of the lovely hymn fit into the melodies of many familiar and beautiful tunes such as Tall, Ordinal by B. Talitz and Strasbourg by Michael Hayden. We have, however, chosen to use for today's rendition of the hymn, the tune Edua to which the hymn is set in the hymn Ancient and Modern. O oh God of Bethel is a hymn which emphasizing on God's promise to his people to be with them and keep them in all places wherever they go. Just as Jacob was wondering when he met God in Bethel, where he received God's blessing and was promised the land of Canaan, Jacob anointed the stone with the oil and named it Bethel. House of God, he kept his people in the past and keep us till today. This song which is our anthem in this cathedral, arch cathedral, prompt us to be conscious of God's presence with us, that Jesus will never leave us or forsake us. 
that as we live in faith and do his will, Jesus will be a wall of fire around us, even when we are not aware of it, as the name Bethel connotes. I am highly delighted to invite you to join us in singing this rousing and delightful hymn with the assurance that God is here with us. Thank you.
Praise God. Mama, we're here today to honor God on your behalf. You are now a centenarian. I think it's a special privilege for all of us to be here today witnessing such an august occasion. Mama, I just made up my mind that I need to be here to see you 100 years old. Wow. We give God all the glory. Our next hymn is Throughout the Changing Scene of Life. And the tune is by Wiltshire. Like as pants the heart for cooling streams, by 13, this fine paraphrase of Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Comes from the new version of the Psalter produced in 1696 by Nahum Tate and Nicholas Brady. This particular paraphrase has generally been credited to Nahum Tate, 1652 to 1715 who must stand as one of the most colorful figures in the history of English hymnody. He was born in Dublin. He wrote plays and altered works of established dramatists, including the great Shakespeare. The fine tune we'll share, written by Sir George Smart, 1776 to 1867, when he was only 19, an organist at the St. James's Chapel, London. And I have the great pleasure of inviting you all to join in the singing of this beautiful and solemn hymn, Through All the Changing Scene of Life.
Lord. We thank God for Mama's life. It's beautiful to be 100, but it's not easy to be 100 in this, our present world. So, we are giving this uh, hymn to thank God for Mama's life. Eje Kajumo Shokwe Folorun is in Yoruba. Our next Yoruba hymn gives a simple and clear explanation of living the Christian life. The hymn brings to the fore the patient for us to praise our God for all his good deeds in our lives. This hymn was written by A.K. Ajishafe, popular known as Aji Kordidu, which means who rises every morning to sing melodies songs. Ajishafe, an organist and composer, knowing that there was no healing without giving, without giving thanks, composed this hymn to bring to the notice of we mortal beings the goodness and favor of God upon man. Kindly join us in singing our hymn in thanking to God for the, his mercy endures forever.
centenarian mama, Mama Taylor, as we pop, popularly, she's popularly called. I thank God for you for today. I thank all the clergy, the choir, and members of the African Church today for the honor that Mama is being bestowed. Sometimes a light surprises, tune, petition, is one of Mama's favorite hymns, and incidentally one of mine as well. Dr. Andrew Bonner, in his memoir and remains, remarked, remarked last words which R.M. Cheney, the Reverend Saint of St. Peter's Dundee, heard, and the last he seemed to understand were those of William Copper's 1731 to 1800 hymn, which his sister quoted to him four days before his death. Then delirium set in, and he gradually passed away. William Cowper was a talented author of his soul inspiring him from O'Neill Hymns, 1779, titled Joy and Peace is Believing. The singular opinion of Dr. Davy in his preface to the New Oxford Book of Christian Verse 1891 pointed out that Cowper was not a clergyman writing from the pulpit, but among those who sit at their feet, reporting faithfully how it seemed to them there in the pew. William Cowper, son of Reverend John Cowper, D.D., and the chap lying to King George II was born on November 15, 1731. At the tender age of six, he lost his dear mother, and after some education at St. Westminster School and some training, he was called to the bar in 1754. For some inexplicable reason, he became partially insane, and on several occasions, was only prevented from suicide by strong spiritual force of the human conscience. True to the words of a hymn, God never yet forsook at needs the soul that trusted him indeed. His mind was restored later on in life. Eventually, he went to live with the Unwin family in Only. While here, formed a close friendship with Reverend John Newton and contributed 67 hymns to the Only Hymn. He died in April 25, 1800. The most popular tune composed by E.J. Hayden, 1732 to 1909, for his hymn was petition. Members of the household of God, let us enjoy the tune petition after, um, this afternoon in honor of our dear mama, grandma, great grandma, great great grandma Taylor. Thank you.
Lord be with you. It is time for prayer. I want us to bow down our heads as we pray. Our gracious Father, we appreciate and thank you once again. Thank you for this rare privilege and opportunity you have given to our mama, Elder Mrs. Modupe Ola Abiola Ajayi Taylor, to clock 100 years in the land of the living. The journey of a century is not that easy without you, but with you, all things have been made possible. Father, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. We thank you for, his, for our infanthood. We thank you for our youth. We thank you for our old age. We thank you because you are our help in ages past. And you are always promised to be there for us always. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. And so we are praying for her today that at 100, you, O oh Lord, who have been with her, we continue to strengthen her in Jesus' name. We pray that you will continue to be with her in the name of Jesus. The remaining days, the remaining years that she has in the land of the living, she will not spend them in problem, in pain, in the name of Jesus. Psalm 71 verse 9 says, Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not while my strength faileth. Lord, I pray for our mama, you will not cast her off in our old age in the name of Jesus. You will not forsake her at this time in the name of Jesus. She depends on people around her for so many things now because of her health, because of the frail in health. Father, I pray that you will continue, O Lord, to support her in the name of Jesus. We pray for those taking care of her. They will not be weary doing it in the name of Jesus. We pray for the children, the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren. None of them shall die before mama's eyes in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, that the joy of the Lord will continue to be the strength of mama in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the entire family of Taylor. Lord Almighty will be with you in Jesus' name. Good things will never cease from your family in Jesus' name. You will live to ripe to ripe old age in life in the name of Jesus. For as many that are here celebrating Mama today, I pray your day of celebration will come in Jesus' name. We will all live to ripe old age in the name of Jesus. An enemy will not cut us short in the name of Jesus. We pray for the peace in the church of God, the peace in the nation. There shall be peace everywhere in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have heard us. Any time you will call Mama home, we pray that Mama will see you before seeing death in the name of Jesus. And she will inherit the heavenly kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have done it for us. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord.
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us be seated. I want to firstly give thanks to God for today, for giving me the opportunity to preach this occasion. It's a rare one for one to witness an individual celebrating centenary, particularly in this world we live in today, where we struggle to exist, where we put in all that we think that can work and yet are not working. where our hope lies only in our God. So, seeing Mama Taylor clocking 100 years is a great occasion. So, Mama, I celebrate you and I thank God on your behalf for seeing you to this age. That is a hymn. I don't know how to sing it. I can sing it, you know, but uh, I may not remember the tone now, but the wordings I will read says, it's not an easy road. That is the title. It says, it's not an easy road, we are traveling to heaven. For many are the thorns on the way. It's not an easy road. But the Savior is with us. His presence gives us joy every day. No, no. It's not an easy road. No, no. It's not an easy road. But Jesus walks beside me and brightens the journey and lightens every heavy load. That is just to tell us that every one of us, we are on our journey to eternity. And it gives me great joy you know, to have that confidence that if we can live our life with caution, we can attain the age of 100 through the grace of God. And even more, when I was preparing the message for this time, I was thinking on how to present the word of God, either to use the book of Luke. Because at centenary, what else is Mama expecting? What else is Mama expecting? Mama has attained the level of appreciating God. That God, I thank you. The hymn that has just been rendered, I learned just now that was written by Papa, Papa Tilo. Abeko, Abi, if you are Masi Le, you can't help it. You can't help it. You can't help it. You can't help it. You see, when we see such people as this, we appreciate God. So you have to appreciate God in our life. Papa wrote this hymn. Now, Mama is the one using the hymn to celebrate. That is God. That is, whatever you have doing, do it with all your strength. Because you can never say, when that roll call, when that triumph, the, the, the trumpet, 
will sound and we have to go home. The book of Psalm, Psalm 90, verse 12 says, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Unto wisdom. The theme is walking in the path of righteousness towards heavenly goal. Walking in, right, in the path of righteousness towards heavenly goal. As we increase in age, the psalmist is telling us that we should be cautious of our walk with God. You know, that is what that verse is telling us. That so teach us to number those that you have left behind in retrospect. To appraise how far we have gone in our walk with God. What has been our achievements? Where have we heard before God? What amendments are we ready to do? Because we are on our walk, we are on our journey towards heaven. Every one of us. We're on our journey towards heaven. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Which type of wisdom? What type of wisdom? Wisdom to know how to continue in our work with you. As we are praised, we make correction amendments and the journey continues. Unfortunately, many of us are not appraising our work with God. We are not assessing how far we have loved God. What type of relationship do we keep with God? You see? And for Mama, to have attained this age, 100 years, it is through the grace and mercy of God. I'm not, you know, removing the aspect of care. That is from the children now. You cared for Mama. You have given her rest of mind. Because you too want your children to care for you. Because you too want your children to care for you. Because you too want your children to care for you. So for caring for her, for giving her rest of mind, for giving her all that she requested or that she desired then, you are telling your children to, teaching them, see how I've done to my mom. Because her time will come. If I adjust my mom, her time will come. You two they will be adjusting you. They will be adjusting you. Because by then you'll be very fragile. It's not the it's not the fault of Mama now. That is nature. That is nature. I appreciate Mama so much, and I pray that God, in His mercy, will see you through. Because that is the prayer now. Do you pray for longevity again? Like in the book of Isaiah 65, it was 65, I think, 65, 22. Like, like, that, like the days of the tree in the forests, so shall the days of my children. And that is longevity. Because you cannot tell 
the years those trees have spent in the forest. God. You will not see evil. You will continue to see good. You will continue to see the favor of God. You will continue to receive his mercy. You will continue to receive his grace. He will continue to abide with you. He will continue to cuddle you like a child. And he will strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus. I appreciate children, your children. I appreciate them very well. You see, I appreciate you very much because you share one mama. I see Baba Uje, Mama Je, or to Je Pepe. You see, Mama can be compared to what we have in the book of Proverbs. And I think that is what every one of us should. Uh, take to heart because in this world we live in today our survivor is uncertain it's not sure because of the things we see because of our experiences every day if we are able to have contentment, we will live long. Like I told them this morning where I preached, people started making noises when the price of a rice got to 10,000 from 10,000 to 20, 25. From 25 down to 50. From 50 to 80. And I told them, what else do you want to say? I told them, just be looking. It's true. Once you don't have solution to a problem, you keep on looking that God, my life is in your hand. And that is just it. Our life is in God's hand in Nigeria. All we need to do is just be satisfied with what you have. Look for alternative for food you eat that can give you nutrients. If you can get them in leaf, leaf, little way, my way. No, it is an emperor colon jay way. For healthy living, King Charles, on only cancer of uh, prostate cancer, Beko, cannot be treated. They said herb. That is not going to take care of, um, chemotherapy. Is that not the word? Chemotherapy, Abby? Because people are afraid of chemotherapy that the wound kills. So they are going to treat him with herb. Because you are learned, because you are in civilization. Look at a king. Telling the world that is going to be treated with Agbo. So what are we talking about? Find alternative. Abi, when your salary is less than hundred thousand and a bag of rice is close to hundred thousand, is it rice alone you want to eat? Okay, if you get rice, you won't, you won't buy pepper, you won't buy meat or fish. Titus, how much do they sell titus now? The poor man's fish. You see? So what we need now is contentment. Be satisfied with what you have or else you will cause yourself problems that you can't solve. Abi, 
And this is the time the church now has to rise. The church is a charitable organization to assist some of our members that are poor. What's the essence of our collections? What's the essence of all this money we put in banks? Even the bank you put your money into is not encouraging. Look at what you're hearing about bankers, those that are keeping our money. Look at what we're hearing about them. You put your money in the bank, they, they charge you. You withdraw, they charge you. You use ATM, they charge you. Every little cobble they charge, multiply that into millions, it goes into their pocket. What we need now is contentment. Proverb 30. And that is, I think, should be the philosophy of Mama that has allowed her to see this day to attain the age of 100. Let us see Proverbs chapter 30, verses uh, 7 to 9. It says, Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove her from me, vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. Two things. Two things. Have I asked from you? Oh, maybe the motor or the other. Mas if you want do me, give me cut to cut. Mo asan ati kiji no see me. Mas if you mean oshi, mas if you mean oro, if you want to to you mean bomi, give me cut my ba yoju, give me masiche seo pe tani oluwa tabi, give me my ba toshi, give me si jali, give me si chesi oruko oloro. You see. That is contentment. Upon upon many of us, what we look after is wealth. Wealth that we cannot even use. Wealth that has no meaning. You see? Building billions, multi-billions structures to live in. Why you cannot stay more than in a room? You can't, you can't, you, you can't stay in two rooms together. You can't, you, you can't sleep on two beds together. Even on that bed you are sleeping, there's a portion you have to stay that you are going to sleep on. You cannot eat more than you feel. Even if you eat too much, it will disturb you. It can kill you. The food you eat at times can kill you. Eh? No, I have to care for my children that are still coming up. They have to care for them. One lati jogun, one lati rin kong jogun, one nikon ma jogun. Some people will see food. They want to eat everything. They don't know that even their body, the requirement, you know, the necessary requirement is in measure. Some will drink to stupor to the extent that they will admit, it, they admit them in the hospital. I've seen it, all this I'm talking about. I've seen his experience of life. Not I'm not just talking. It's what I've seen. Food kills. Money makes one to run mental. Too much of money that you don't need. You get insane. You see, that is what the, the book of Proverbs is telling you. So that I will not say, where is the Lord? I won't, I won't cause my God. Don't give me that sort of wealth. Give me that sort of wealth that I'll be able to cater for people, those are in need. Mama has kept that word of God. She had contentment. Contentment. And she is able to attain a centenary. 
as we walk with God, with caution, we seek his face. As we walk with him, we be focused. As we walk with him, we strengthen our faith. As we walk with him, we walk in love. And that is what is lacking within us. Love. Love. If you don't love your neighbor, you don't love God. Love your fellow human being. Love your brothers. Love strangers. Be ready to assist. Be ready to give support. Mama has turned to become our baby now. What type of work do you want to give to Mama to do? She is her responsibility. She is her responsibility. And I pray for her that when that time, before that time we come, she will see Jesus before death in the mighty name of Jesus. So, I want to appreciate the choir of this church for inviting me. I appreciate you for giving me this honor to preach this occasion. It's a very rare one. I appreciate you greatly. God bless you. And also, I want to appreciate the provost of the cathedral and the wardens too for having me today. May God bless you. Most especially, I want to appreciate His Eminence, the Primate of the African Church, J-O-O-R-B. Though it's not here, it's here with us in spirit. I pray that God in His mercy will continue to bless His ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Children of Mama, let us appreciate God. Ah, uh, and the Columbus only a ban law. And the Kamasoka by the former only a ban all law new. Agba is going. Agba is going. Oh, I work a loony. Oh, Tabali be Loma, my dear Kamabiri by history. Come out possibly. Come out possibly because a time will come during that glorious day when that, we, when that time will come. And my family call me by you. Ah, my mama said, Oh, I think belong here. So, on Tabale, Lero, tell you, Ronti, and my beard, come out, Cossile. Come out, Cossile. Mama, she won't only she. Oh, Tonle, Tonle, she lay on the children, you will buy. You see, my buyer knows so. Only a machine control, only she, but about two battle or two, and she lay in Tabai Fashi Lane, where she looked you go to my law, and she, and she, but won't get my gem, but don't ballo, and she by going genuine. But won't tell my mutton ballo, and she go moon, and go moon, and moon, and jay. Oh, fairy. My mind is saying it the love, the care, the acceptance. Loa Wapel Bubua. Ojoa Daleo. It really time she for mama. Why she for no? I'll need dear Rufa one more wow. New Roko Jesu, you will nearly be. Oh, are you non shilling for mama? Oh, are you? No, when it doesn't leave wow. Oh, go go. It ain't fair to watch your long, Uluwa she for wa. Nibi ba or long only. And Lati kiss around with Butabanshi. Come on, one rawa. Papa in Nigeria Tower Nissin. Come on, one rawani. Come on, she do rawa lo. Cade show rawa. Trip with Tibi Batti de Tibi Batti Walu. Every pound you had there, Oko. You had there, Oko. Put a tin shelly by. In Batotin being you. Turn on your con, turn on your kid on it, on ta. But in your king, she and Oko, and told you a warning. It told you a warning. Told you a warning. Agba, Ladura, Lua, Wule, Wasson. God will heal our country. I pray there's nothing that God cannot do. God can reverse situations, He will reverse this moment that we are passing through to a period that we will experience peace. And uh, 
plenty in the mighty name of Jesus. We will never beg before we eat. None of us will beg before we eat. Your fear on your children that I'm nurturing these children. How are they going to take care of me when I grow old? God will remove that fear in the mighty name of Jesus. He will surprise you. That those children, they will take good care of you at your old age. And it will be better for you. It will be well for you. All that you are wishing yourself, God will grant in the mighty name of Jesus. Abawa yo. Lodi mama loni. Wabawa no yo. Bubay mo mama. Akiwa. Peku ori reo. But I will come out with Gaga was only to go and Latin law to repay only only Kaja or Peleno to go on far only Kushikini only Koja into the row and Fanny Bay, Tel Bani or to Mark Pecatori Rue a four hundred years Mugala Dra, one or a few hundred years old. Book a mark by me, it's not an easy way. In our walk to heaven, it's not an easy way. Our Tana Rubole, Jacka told you, Maruboa, take good care of your, of, your, of, your, of your parents, the aged one. Take good care of them. What you are doing, you are telling those behind, coming behind, that when I do good, do that to me. I go a lot of people, Omori, Ashike, wow, why bring you wow, Mama, buy your leg on sea, Bubu Jabba, why you, Buba, my bay, buy you, Buba, my be, I buy you. Mo bara mi no yo mo si gba ladura pe ojo ti mi no adale o mo no jo ti mi adale o ebi o pa mama o mama nje on ti won fe ti si dojo ogbo ni ni oruko jesus ebi o ni pe ni ke ninu wa o dojo ogbo wa ebi o ni pe ni ke ni o alayo o arayo arojurere ari anu agba anu be lo ma ri in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy Spirit.
Good afternoon, church. Your, your grace, the bishop of the Lagos Central Diocese of the African Church, the provost of this cathedral, the clergy, of course, the choir of the Ark Cathedral, and all the, the congregation here this afternoon. Mama, our uh, Mama, Mrs. Modupeola Abiola Ajayi Taylor, I call you with due respect Today, your choir, which you have inspired over many, many, many decades, decided to honor you as you celebrate your 100th birthday. We know today is not the birthday. We know it's the 23rd of February by the grace of God. And it is therefore our prayer that God in his mercy will see, you all, will see us all beyond that day of the 23rd. When I was given this assignment, I honestly did not read it as I should have. And that must be quite poignant for me because they just said, time for celebrate. But I figure that is what they now called slightly a tribute to Mama. So I didn't bother to write, write anything down. Because I figured that what else could one say about someone who has seen it all? Someone who has seen it all. Someone who should be a reference point in this country at this point in time. It's people like you, Mama, that this government, if they really wanted to do anything, they should speak to, because you've been through it all. And God has granted you this grace of 100 years. Not many have had such grace. But God has not even finished with you yet because there are still many more years to spend. I thought about what exactly to say. And I dare say that I'm, I'm, not, giving, I'm not capable of giving a sermon. Because, like they say, I'm on like, uh, perhaps uh, Mrs. Uh, Ladushu here. Or indeed the provost, who have all been to College of Theology. So, mine is more of, um, of just uh, Ariso, Awiso. I recall, and I would like to reference the biography that was written about Mama. I would like all of us to please go back to those pages, 17, 18, and 19. Because those things said in that biography are pretty profound. One thing for me that stands out in that biography is the very essence of Mama. As I have known her in the past perhaps 50 years of my life. I'm a young man, so please nobody should But of what I've known of Mama, definitely in the last 50 years, one core thing that I found in her life from the biography is that of a very disciplined person. You cannot take it away from her. All her life, things have been properly regulated properly regulated. I'm sure my mind is in her quiet times 
will wonder what exactly is going on with this world. The things that from the age of 10 that she was able to do, you would see in the biography. She was properly trained, even in her marriage, everything was properly organized. And so the product that we see today, that we are celebrating, has been put in place many, many decades ago. I pray that all of us would have such grace. Somebody is not saying amen here. Amen. I pray for myself that I will be 100 and above amen. if God pleases. If God pleases. Because it's all about the grace of God. There's nothing we really can do without his grace. The choir of this church found it extremely important that Mama should be made the grand matron of the choir. It's not just by looking at people and looking at them how pretty or how fine or how beautiful they were in their younger days. No. It's because of the quality of life that they want to emulate. I saw some of the pictures Mama took back in the days. Very pretty woman. But she's still pretty because she's always, she has this, if, uh, she has this gait on her, on her lips and on her face that she's always smiling. And if you knew her well, if she looks at you, she looks deep into your heart. She doesn't look into your face. She looks deep into your heart. And wondering, hmm, can I, can I really understand this guy or this lady or this woman? She looks deep inside of you. She does not look in your eyes only. Mama, we appreciate you. We thank God for your life. We pray that the good Lord will continue to bless you. It is not yet time, Mama. It is not yet time. As I have often told both Shola and Jimmy, that Mama is not for you two alone, and for me as well. Mama is not for you alone. Mama is for all of us. Because I remember her relationship with my own mom when she passed on in 1982 at the age of 72. And I knew her mom was always there. So today, I thought of something else to do, and that is to read the Psalm 23. And the, I'm going to read it in the manner in which I think we would all understand it. Mama, this is for you. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. He makes you to lie down in green pastures. He leads you beside the still waters. He restores your soul. He leads you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. For you are, for she, if of you, you are with her, for you are with her, your rod and the staff, they'll comfort her. You prepare the table before her in the presence of her enemies. You anointed her head with oil. Your cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and he will dwell you will dwell in the house of the lord forever mama i thank you i thank you very much for all the lessons we have learned from you
over these ages. We pray that this choir, which has thought it fit to honor you today, will continue to grow from strength to strength. In our days, we would also be able to say we will have many more hundred centenarians from this choir and, as, and myself. No, speak for yourselves. Speak for yourselves. I'm saying to myself, God will grant me many more years that I shall be a centenarian in my time. If you wish it for yourself, it shall come to pass. Amen. Ama, today, the evening is far spent because I know you must be getting slightly tired. But the day, the day is a day of glory. Mama, I why it you. Our mother, our money, and the job of you. Allah, I feel like you go to life here. We go and call you. And we go and call you. We are more important. We don't should touch you to care into getting by. Allah, I care. We go about. I don't care. No, we are bad along. You know, I do care. Hey, if I want more money. If you know, if I want more money, Mama, I pray for Mama. Thank you very much. We appreciate you, but God loves you, and we know that. Ladies and gentlemen, please could you do me a favor of standing up and let us sing very heartily about this song for Mama, led by the choir of the African Church at Cathedral Battle Lagos. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. May the good Lord bless you. Three happy cheers to my mom. Hip, hip, hip. Okay. It's not loud enough, ladies and gentlemen. Three happy cheers to my mom. Hip, hip, hip. Uh, okay, I'm, I know we haven't had lunch. The, the warden is here. He says to me, you can bring down the roof. It don't matter. We will, we will work at it. Hip, hip, hip. Thank you and God bless. Mama, please come forward, Ma. No, 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 no.
Praise the Lord. Uh, okay. We will pray for you, Mr. Lufat. We will have a chance to please come around and celebrate Mama. But let me quickly say this. Let me quickly say this. Mama will officially turn 100 on Friday, 23rd of February. And the family has asked me to tell you, we pray for you, Mr. Lufat. An wè la man ki? A la che tan, a la che pe. Pe ba a che ri yin lo ni. Be nan la anje fè ri yin lo jow Friday. 23rd of February by the grace of God. E jow wò? A go mokan la. A go mokan la. O gwe yon lo mò yi pe. Sunday to ba ma da. Yi bo le yati mò. Saturday ni. E ri pe le ta ri lo ni o fi yon wik pe. On the 23rd, yeah, and my language me, you're probably stick. You're probably tell a ballet, you're probably the 23rd, you're probably stick. So, a jack of his soccer or Laura, I know, I know. God bless you. We hand over the mic to the grand patron of the choir of this church. You know, Mama is also the grand patroness of the choir. So, grand to grand, and we know how they conduct uh, themselves. Thank you, sir. My Lord Bishop, please come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, because it's a very special birthday for Mama, for our Mama, we are going to count up to 100. Yes, we are going to count. Are we complaining? Is anybody complaining to be 100? Okay, thank you. Our Lord Bishop and Mama will cut this cake. So we'll start together from one. Please repeat after me. Repeat after me. One, One two, two, three, three ten, ten, fifteen, 15 twenty, twenty, thirty five, thirty five, forty nine, forty nine, sixty, sixty, sixty one, sixty one, sixty two, sixty two, sixty three. 63, 64, 65, 80, 95, 96, 97, Bishop, how are you going? Shall you put my mouth on the street? 98, 99, 99, 100 yeah. for she's a jolly good
Thank you very much. Mama has insisted that she's going to make a response. So please, ladies and gentlemen, let's be seated and listen to Mama. Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard, you just heard Mama speak. You can see that Mama at 100 is what we call in law very, very corpus. Oh, sorrow. She was clean and clear. That is the special grace of God. Along other from Bobo, I know you that grace. Mama has thanked you all. Ni agbara long. Ni on the 23rd of February, Friday. Along when you call for Bobo, I will let Mama invite you. Oju wa kwe, ese wa kwe leo. Mama, once again, congratulations, ma. And we wish you well, ma. We wish you many, many more years in good health. Keep smiling. The best is yet to come. Thank you very much. You know, I told you, grand to grand, they know how they undo their things. And uh, you've seen that the grand patron has undo it. I also want to invite all our wardens uh, to please come around to snap picture with Mama, the people's wardens, uh, pastor's warden, the vajah, also, side men and lady helpers, she also gets ready to also snap with mama. It's a real privilege to snap picture with a woman that is celebrating a centenary. Hundred is not a joke, and we're glad to be part of it. So, where's the people's wording? Uh, the pastor's wording. God bless you. And also, please, the side men and lady helpers, she'll be coming to the front because of our time uh, because we need to do everything very snappy so as to move forward Thank you very much. Now the the wordings, the wordings. Then I will also call the patrons, the all the honorary officers of the choir. We also come forward after the wordings. After the wordings. After the wordings, I will call on all the honorary officers of the choir. Thank you very much. Patron, patroness, all the grand patroness, please come forward. Come forward. All the.
Patron, patronize. Please come forward. Choir advisors, come forward. Thank you very much. Now we invite the children. We invite Mama's children to please come forward. Mama's children to please come forward. Please come forward. Mama's children are grand. Thank you very much. We are the Mama's children and our grandchildren to please come forward and snap picture. Why after this we take, we will take the side men and lady help us to come and snap. God bless you. Congratulations to Mama. Hundred years on the face of the half. It's not a joke. And to God be all the glory for great things he has done. Brother Tony, I can show you are welcome. Thank you very much. Now, side men and lady helpers. Side men and lady helpers to please take the position. Side men and lady helpers to please join Mama. To celebrate her hundred. Okay, because Mama is a musicologist, now we call on all the Hogneys. Okay, only child, only child, wait, only child, 
Ah, am I here to take back on Bonnie? We ask you to wait. Eh, but don't worry. Agnes, wait for the only child. Everyone want to quickly snow with Mama Hundred. Holy Chai, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, 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 Agnist. You know, Mama is also an Agnist. Uh, she's a musicologist. And uh, Mama needs to uh, celebrate with them, too. Now, after Mama, we now call all the bad day mates. You know, all the 23rd. Uh... Now, bad day mate, they've also requested, they said we are bad day mate of Mama. And I know Mama Laya. Wait, wait, wait. Where is she now? Wait, see. Ah, are you bad day mate too? Ah. Oh, yeah, you're bad day mate. Okay, thank you very much. Well, with this kind of privilege, I want to give... I want to give Mama 100 and Baba 90 the opportunity to snap. You know, Mama 100 and Baba 90. There's a protest from the minister's wife. They said we didn't call them. Minister's wife. They said we didn't call them. And uh, we don't want to get to the house and they will starve us food. Okay, fine. First African church, as you please get ready. First African church. First African child, please come forward. 
first African child, please come forward. At least I'll relay what I'll let. Now, First African Church, First African Church mission. Thank you very much, First African Church. We appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. We're brothers, and we've been so good together. Thank you very much. You can take Mama back to her seat. later we are only trying to satisfy mama's uh, wish and uh, because she says she wants it that's why you see us doing it mama has even requested that she wants a thanksgiving she wants a thanksgiving and we're going to give her because it's a privilege it's a privilege to celebrate hundred and whatever is a wish, I assure you we are ready to grant her. God bless you. Choir, please, are you ready? You will sing beautifully. And everyone will come to the chancel to celebrate Mama today. And God bless you. So I am calling. I just keep going back and forth. I just don't know what power now. I see hundred. I see one twenty. Eh, you pull your feet along. Oh yeah, if you allow me only to see two. Only you are calling. Sweet color, yeah. Oh yeah, the world. We mix it for free, mama. Sweet color, yeah. Oh yeah, the sweet color, yeah. Oh yeah, the color. Let us rise and rejoice. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sorry. We will put the two bowls there. Why Mama is seated here? To also see us going, just drop your offering and return back to your seat. We you come with the highs, the middle highs, and you go back to the and should be directed by the ushers as you direct them. Choir, please go ahead. <laughs>
Ashe Buburu ni shubulu yin. Arun karun koni suma go yin. Nje kbobo wak pata pata ta amba wan yo. Loru ko jesu ni jon kan yo wak wan ni fi wak pama. We pray for every one of us. Long life, good earth, sound mind, and prosperity. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover every one of us with the blood of Jesus. He shall be well with us, well with Nigeria as a whole. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you very much. Now I want to invite the choir presenter who is going to do the vote of thanks, Colonel Akinshola Aboyade Co Retire, the choir presenter. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our. Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. William Shakespeare says, 
arrow sharper than a serpent's tooth is it to have a thankless child. And we are not thankless children. I do pay lower long over. I doubt your job. I die by Baco. Of one knee or jaw to Dara. But where the law near a way rose. I can't you do a logo. Jagabi Oruko Mama Dupe Tawata or movie pay Urukoye. Along then, in no bobo, Kasha ma dupe, and dupe, funded as it to the wasi do joni. Four year fetal for a lati one, maybe. Mo better lati or do I want your own share or long one lie? Our bishop, provost, venerables, canons, at our lufawa, bobo and one lache. Ijo a cathedral Bethel. I want to be according. I want to one in it to in particular. I do pay a top of the phone. I keep it on. I do pay for the phone. 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 I do perform a little alone, only to be say I am Mama Wa. To read about what you were Isaiah, or you can read the Adoni, as a Ogun Sisale. Only to see or more to my Kumo Agba Udeni. Shall I pay or go on or do? Or go on with any Mama and pay? In the little alone, she abuse she. Oh, that was all you pay. God is a rewarder of those who serve Him diligently. Mama served God diligently. And she's reaping the fruit of her diligence. I do pay a top with that. Ah, the master pay my mag bo at Tomo. Or what do you my bang or lay? Nino Idera, a lafia, a tea run. But bone there is all on that is a fun. Go see to my diba de lodger ye won't. But what are the one no? I'm wondering, Lord Con. Could you jail of any concoa? I want bow and need that by a yell. And we, we, Ogun Kewe Kewe, the Niko Wanje, Adupe Pe Akpe Nye Dewa, Eno Akpe Wa O Nikon, Irele Mamari Barashi, Ani Riba Ibai, Ibai Ibai La Mamari,